Several years ago, as I was serving as chaplain at the old St. Joseph Hospital here in Fort Worth, Texas, I had occasion to go into a patient's room, a young mother who had experienced several surgeries as a result of an extreme medical condition. She was asleep, but sitting over in the corner in the chair was her eight-year-old son. I walked over to him and asked him how he was doing. He looked at me and said, okay, but you know, he said, when I get to heaven, there's a lot of questions God's going to have to answer for me. As I reflected on that conversation, I thought about where we are today. We are experiencing all kinds of confusion, all kinds of fear. We've experienced things in our lifetime that we never thought that we would experience before. It's a time of uh, great difficulty. And yet, as we go back and we look at the scriptures, time and time again, God has said, I will never leave you or forsake you. The scripture says, nothing can ever separate us from the love of God. Throughout history, God has always sought ways to communicate with his creation. As we come to this time of celebrating Holy Week, we recall the fact that this was a time of the culmination of that relationship. God had put into effect all the things that were necessary for us to have a relationship that would guarantee eternal life. As we come to this time, may we reflect on God's love for us and the things that God has done for us to bring us into that kingdom. Let me share some words with you at this time. This day, Good Friday, we reflect on the crucifixion of Jesus, his suffering and his death. It was God's promise for a sacrifice that would cover the sins of a broken world and assure an eternal life in the presence of God. Each of the four Gospels give glimpses of the humiliation, the agony, and final words of Jesus as he hung on that cross. But I would like to address God's suffering as he watched the pain and agony of his son. Philip Yancey, in his wonderful book, Disappointment with God, talks about God's suffering as he watched his only son suffer and die that day. God knew that a great victory was coming in the resurrection of Jesus, and yet he was experiencing a loss that was real and the pain was powerful. His death made it possible uh, for all of us to be recipients of Jesus' victory over death. Good Friday was God's gift to a broken world to ease our pain and loss and to overcome the life challenges we face each day. We celebrate that victory Sunday. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Would you pray with me, please? Our Father, we are so thankful for all you do for us. We ask that you would be with us, especially during this holy week, that we would uh, understand anew the great sacrifice and the great victory that is ours through the death of Jesus Christ and his resurrection. I thank you for this uh, center and for all of the staff continued to be with them, give them strength during this time of confusion and uh, all of the things that we have to go through. We know that you promised to be with us, to walk with us, to lift us up, and to carry us through those valleys that we go through. We ask especially that you would be with us, give us rest for this day, strength for the days ahead. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.